Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Pooh and welcome to day 305 of A Year of Change. Today we're going to sort of steer things back in the direction of food once again. Um, a couple of reasons I wanted to do this. I mentioned this last week as well. Um, I think. <laughs> I, I mentioned a couple of things during the week and I went, oh, I'll, I'll address that on the weekend. And completely forgot what it was. No idea. I went back through the videos and I'm trying to figure out which video it was that I actually said it in. But... They're fucking long. I don't know why they're so long. Really need to cut those back. Um, and no one has mentioned it to me, obviously. But um, so I'm starting going through them and stuff. And of course, I'm obviously missing it because I can't find the section where it says I'm going to talk about it. So whatever it was I was supposed to talk about during the weekend, not going to happen. But I do want to get back to sort of a food focused thing in the middle of the week. Um, part of that is mainly because it's such a huge part of our lives and it's really what we've been focusing on. And there's still, it's still very, very important to us, you know, losing the weight. But also I found that, um, if it isn't in the forefront, I don't tend to stick to things as well as I should. Here's why. Just like the water, I've always had a hard time tracking water. Um, I'll have it going for a few days. That's my neighbor killing their kid or playing with their kid. They sound exactly the same. So you can never really tell. Anyway, sorry. So we're going to deal with that as we go through this. Um, I've never been really good at tracking water. I've, I start and then I track it for a couple of days and then I just let it go. Because it's nothing that's really in the forefront. I don't think of it because I don't, I'm not drinking water in place of anything. Um, aside from like the soy milk that I put on my cereal. I'm still doing the soy milk thing. Um, aside from that, and um, I mean if I have something like a drink with friends, I'll count that. Um, or what's the other thing I was going to say, coffee or tea, and I count all that stuff. But every other fluid that I drink is water, and the majority of stuff that I drink throughout the run of the day is water. So I'm drinking, you know, a couple of liters a day. So I don't think that it's something that I should be tracking, although I really should be, because chances are I'm not drinking as much as I should. Um, but I'm not, you know, if I'm thirsty, that's what I go for. I go for water. Um, I, I don't know if you can hear that, but child screaming. Anyway, um... No, I'm not going to call the police. I don't care. Anyway, uh, ugh, itchy nose again. It's okay. We're done. So, um, stuff like that. It, if it's not right in the forefront, then I'm not going to track it as well as I should. And I noticed this. Now, this isn't an excuse, by the way. These are reasons. Different than an excuse. Um, when I started doing uh, sugar, um, I found that I wasn't tracking my sodium as well as I should. And then trying to match like the carbohydrate level with uh, fat and protein and all that stuff um you know when we started focusing on one thing other things sort of lost their way and it took us a while to get that back together again and get it so that you know we had everything plotted out properly so that we could track it and what i found is that because we've been sort of focusing on the exercise portion of it the past couple of weeks i haven't really been paying attention to i mean day by day i'm doing fine I'm still tracking my stuff i'm still staying under um, but there are a few things here and there that I haven't been tracking. And I think part of that just comes from, I mean, there's, we're trying to figure out the exercise thing, trying to add in new exercises, trying to time it out so that by the end of the 10 weeks, we can keep going on our own. We still have our regular food that we're tracking to make sure that we aren't under there. We're doing regular exercise as well. And we're trying not to track that, but we still need to log it. So when you have all these things going on, um, it, certainly things are going to sort of fall by the wayside. And chances are, I'm not the only one that's sort of going through this. So I went back today and I went to take a look at, well, yeah, I went back and took a look at week by week what my numbers were, basically. Um, and I thought I'm going to go back three or four weeks and just see what the damage is because I haven't been tracking and trying to keep my fat at like 30% and carbs at 50% and all this stuff. I know that it's, you know, off and on, we're probably going to be okay, but, you know, I'm sort of wary of those giant spikes that are in there. So I started going back and as luck would have it, because I've been following things day to day and doing fairly well that way and eating healthy and sort of following along the same path that we set out before we started doing the exercise stuff, in general, it's not that bad. The only real bad day that I had was New Year's Eve, which I knew. That's not a big surprise. I saw this huge spike and I went, that's nah, probably New Year's Eve. And it went through. Sure enough, that's what it is. But the other days, even on days when I went over, um, the fat content and carbohydrates and protein week by week there's like three or four percent of a difference in between some of them but nothing the worst one was there was one week and i'm pretty sure it was uh new year's eve where it was 36 percent for fat which 
would explain because I had like half a dozen of the donut thingies. So, um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, plus, you're dumping in a whole bunch of other stuff on top of it and sugar and stuff like that. But overall, the averages have been fairly good. Um, in general, I need more protein. Uh, that's very clear right across the board. Um, I'm under almost every single week by quite a bit. Um, well, 2 3% which out of 20% is quite a bit. So I do need, that's just a matter of saying, okay, well, I need to eat more meat or tofu or beans or something. So, um, I mean, there's a certain amount that we do need and I can easily cut out some of the fat or some of the carbs and put that in. Anyway, long story short, on average, I'm doing okay. Then I thought I better look at some of the other stuff that we were tracking before, like the sugar and the sodium. Sodium is the big one. So my sugar levels, aside from New Year's, which we're going to completely disregard because New Year's went through the roof all over the place. I went over, I think, 3,000 calories for the day, which is insane. Um, and my sugars were all over the place and sodium was all through the... Actually, no, sodium for that wasn't actually that bad. Um, anyway, uh, so taking a week-by-week -week average, I was very surprised. There's a good news and bad news thing to this. Number one, the sugar, I'm aside from New Year's, Sugar has been really good. I've been right around uh, like 68 grams, I think, is what the average says I'm supposed to be at right now. Um, I'm either at or below that. I was over it one week, but that was because of New Year's. So sugar's okay. And aside from my coffee and you know stuff like that, I don't really have, like I don't get a lot of sugary stuff. Um, so it's not that bad. Usually it's probably my, like every other week when I go to game and stuff. Um, so my sugar levels were okay. Sodium, that was one I was a little bit concerned with. So I took a look at it and that's below as well. I only went over one week. Um, I don't think it was actually New Year's, but, um, and it wasn't by much. It was like I'm just, the top level is around 2300 and this was 2303. So just barely, barely over the top for it. Um, so I thought, oh, that's very good. I'm very, that's, I'm grateful and you know, I'm, I'm on the right path. Then I remember the bad news part. The bad news part is that um, I found, and this is sort of one of those things where you don't realize it until you stop to think about it and go, yeah, you know what? These numbers aren't accurate because I am missing something. Because over the past uh, probably week, week and a half, um, I have used my salt grinder three or four times. And it's mainly when I'm just having something like just vegetables. Um, I didn't really add it to the boiled chicken when I tried that, but having just vegetables or vegetables and rice like I did last night, um, it's, I found that it's just, there's no taste to it. So I put in a little bit and I don't want to get to a point where I'm just you know, dumping on a whole ton of it now, but I figured through the run of the week, I've probably put on another two teaspoons worth. Um, cause I figured out with my salt grinder, 10 turns is one teaspoon roughly, or no, 30. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, can't do math. 30 was one teaspoon because 10 measured out to exactly one third of a teaspoon. So maybe it's not that bad. Um, I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to say a teaspoon then just to be safe, just so that we can do the math real quick. Um, over the course of the past week, which I have not logged. If that's the case, then chances are my sodium is actually above the 2300. Although this week wasn't all that bad. This week is like 1600 and something. So... I'm probably still okay, but there is that danger of, you know, sort of going over again. Oh man, I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> this is why I don't have good. So, um, when you're, the main reason why I'm sort of bringing this up is that it's stuff that I should be paying attention to all the time and where we're focusing more on the exercise portion of it. It's very, very easy to let the food portion of it sort of, uh, portion put up bum. <coughs> and can't breathe, um, it's very easy to let the food portion sort of slide by a little bit. And I think it's really, really dangerous because the majority of what we're going to be doing with our weight loss and staying on track the way that we need to be is based on food. The exercise is sort of a, hey, this is a little bit of a bonus so that we can you know feel better just in general and get rid of that lethargy and just overall be healthier. But for the weight loss part, that is the food. That is really where our focus needs to be. And so, I mean, some of you are probably looking at it going, eh, you know what, I've been logging stuff, but I haven't really been tracking, you know, I don't know what my percentage is of this and this and this like we used to. 
And it's understandable, I think, somewhat, especially when we're first starting out with some new stuff, to kind of forget about all the stuff that we've done before because you're focused so much on this new thing. But, you know, there is that danger when you've got 10 things going at once that one of them is going to sort of slip and, you know, fall by the wayside. So I think it's really important. This is the other reason why I sort of want to keep at least Wednesdays, at least one day a week, focused on food portion. Um, I keep saying portion. I don't know why. The food aspect of what we're trying to do. Food things is, is because it, I think it's really, really important that we stay on track with that. So that when we see stuff like going, oh, you know what? I haven't been tracking salt that I've been using, or I haven't tracked, you know, a drink that I had, or I didn't track this snack because I just didn't track it because I'm focusing so much on this other stuff. And we don't want to lose sight of that. We don't want to get to a point where we're going, okay, well, now I'm exercising. Well, why am I not losing anymore? I'm exercising. I'm still eating. And then we go back and go, well, I forgot to log here. I forgot to log that. And especially if you're getting really close to your limit for the day, and then you go, ah, you know what? I haven't, I haven't tracked any like the jam that I had. Um, then yes, it can cause a bit of a problem in the long run. So I think it's very important that I mean, when we start sort of falling back that way, to stop, take a quick look, and just even if it's just a matter of finding our bearings again. And for me, it's okay. You know what? I need to track my salt intake again because I know that I've used it and not tracked it which is not good. This sort of defeats the purpose of tracking all your stuff. So I need to do that. Um, obviously, I need to get more protein. Um, this week, I don't think is as bad. Um, it's only halfway through. Um, so, you know, just not that I need to start piling in red meat all over the place, but just being aware of something like that is going to help us in the long run anyway. Just so that when we're doing the exercise stuff, we aren't going, well, great, everything is fine. I can run a 5K now. I can lift weights. I can jump rope and other sporty things for exercise, um, but I have no idea how many calories I've taken in. I have no idea what my percentage of fat is. Um, I mean, we're still sort of good, I think, with things like well, good fat versus bad fat and which ones, you know, how eating too many carbs and eating too much sugar and too much salt. We're fine, I think, for the big picture things like, um, you know, just knowing not to eat cookies and cakes and stuff like that. We've been fine that way for quite a while. But just being able to keep our focus narrowed a little bit and, you know, I might be the only one doing this. All of you might be watching this going, no, I'm still under, I'm still tracking everything. Pay attention. Slap. Um, if that's the case, then fine. But if not, you're not alone out there. I hope I'm not alone either. <laughs> I'm really hoping that at least one of you is out there going, yeah, I forgot. I should have been tracking this little thing and this little thing. Um, the water, it's, I know it's something that I should be tracking. Um, I've been struggling with that for months and months and months, but it's because it's the only thing I drink. Like when I go to work, I have my coffee. If I go out with a friend, I'll have coffee. Um, and very rarely if I have, you know, like a drink of something, then at least I mark it down. If I'm not marking it down throughout the day, I'm just drinking water, 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 water all day. So I think that's part of the reason why that's just sort of been stuck out of my head for quite a while. Um, but I think that it's something that I suppose if we're going to do this right, I should be doing anyway. Probably not going to end up doing it. I've said this three or four times and I always just, I track it for a couple of days and I go, that's, I'm drinking more than enough. I'm fine. And I should be all right. Um, Cause I track absolutely everything else except for water and salt. Mm, salt. I do need to track that more because that's something that was always a concern. Um, and it was something that I don't want to get back into. And I don't want to sort of cheat on things by going, Oh, well it's a low sodium thing, but it tastes like salt. Eh, no, I'd like to get away from having to, you know, go, I want that salty taste because it's just a matter of time before you go back to salt. That should be something we could probably talk about too, which I should write down because I forgot last time and I may not remember this time. If I don't remember it, sorry. <laughs> I probably, probably, I'm going to make a note somewhere along the lines going salty things that are not salty and like tofurky and bacon flavored stuff. Pick one. You know what I'm just going to say now? Pick one. If you're going to be a vegetarian, then be a vegetarian. You don't get to have bacon afterwards or bacon-flavored stuff. It's cheating. If you want bacon, have bacon. If you want something that tastes like bacon, have bacon. If you want something that resembles bacon, have bacon. If you want all the other stuff, you can't say, oh, I'm going to have bacon-flavored tofu. That's cheating. I don't like it. And I think part of it is because I'm thinking, well, why do you get the best of both worlds? It sucks. Anyway. That's just my jealousy stick <laughs> coming out. Um, so there we go. That solved that problem. I don't need to write that down. So we're done. As for the rest of this, I think I've pretty much made my point, maybe. Uh, basically, I fucked up. 
and haven't been tracking things the way that I should be. Um, but I think that as long as we sort of keep that in mind, and even if it's, you know, a couple times a week, stop, take a look through all your stuff and go, okay, what do I need to adjust here? It doesn't have to be every single day, especially when we're looking at the exercise portion of it. But in general, I think it's good just to sort of keep us on the straight and narrow, keep us pointing in the right direction, or any other sailing metaphor that you can possibly think of. There. Right now, I'm going to leave this video here, so thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please poke the like button for me, and in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video.